We are going to talk about nuts that home builders frequently use in their aircraft projects. No, not those nuts. Actually, we are going to focus this week on the most popular lock nuts that are used. While there are many different varieties available, about five styles are routinely used, and as builders we should be able to identify them by appearance and part number, as well as their unique characteristics, and understand when to use them. Our discussions are limited to only AN or MS standard hardware, the type you should be using on your aircraft. Nothing from the hardware store or auto parts store is allowed here. Let's start with what might be the most common lock nut used in your home build, the AN365. This nut will be identified by several names. Elastic stop nut, nylock hex nut, fiber lock nut, or just nylon hex nut. It is characterized by a nylon collar insert that compresses when the nut is installed and prevents turning. After installation, there should be at least a couple threads extending beyond the nut to ensure the locking collar can do its thing. This nut should be used as a first choice on all of your aircraft bolts, provided the following two conditions are met. Not to be used in areas where the temperature exceeds 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll use a metal stop nut for that. And not to be used on parts subject to rotation. We will use a castellated nut instead for that. The cousin to the AN365 is the AN364, which is a thin, reduced height version. Note the difference in its height, substantially less than the AN365. The AN364 stop nut is for use in applications where the bolt is loaded primarily in shear or where the tensile strength of the regular height AN365 is not required. Tensile strength is the strength needed to keep me from pulling the nut off the end of the bolt. So when we replace the nut with a thinner one like the AN364, it's not going to have as much tensile strength. And that's why we call it a shear nut, because this nut can only be used in a shear application, and a shear force is one that wants to cut through the bolt, doesn't affect the nut at all. So the thin nuts are shear nuts, they have no strength in tension pulling off. This question always seems to follow a discussion of the nylon stop nuts. Can nylon nuts be reused over and over or are they good for just one use and then throw them away and use a new one? The answers you often hear make it clear that there is little agreement to the answer. Let's go to the FAA for their answer to this issue as spelled out in circular AC 4313, Chapter 7, Section 4. This FAA document spells out the guidelines that professional mechanics use when working on aircraft. As home builders, we are not required to use them, but it would be foolish not to seriously consider its wisdom. So directly from the page, do not reuse a fiber or nylon lock nut if the nut cannot meet the minimum prevailing torque values. See Table 7-2. What this means is that, of course, a nylon stop nut can be reused as often as desired, as long as it maintains that minimal prevailing torque set forth by this table. And there can be exceptions as, for example, the Air Force issued a technical order on some of its aircraft requiring no reuse of these nuts on 
critical components. The real issue is being able to accurately measure these low levels of torque, which your hand cannot accurately measure. These nuts were designed for reuse by the manufacturer, but it's up to you to confirm that they are still in good functional shape as defined by the FAA in this chart. I know builders that never reuse a nylon stop nut. They throw it away. It's a free country and that behavior is allowed. It's just not required. What if we need a lock nut to be used in an area that may exceed the temperature limit of 250 degrees Fahrenheit? The all metal AN363 stop nut is the choice for high temperature locations up to 450 degrees. There are variants of this nut that can take higher temperatures if you leave off the cadmium coating. It is this gold cadmium coating that limits the nut to 450 degrees. That's why you will not find cadmium plated nuts on exhaust manifold studs and similar applications. Is it okay to use these lock nuts if there are no high temperature requirements? You should always favor the nylon stop nut first for your needs as the metal variety is hard on the threads of the bolt. Their all metal design means that they are scraping the threads of the bolt each time they are used, removing protective corrosion coating off the threads. The nylon insert on the AN365 causes no thread damage. What if the part needing a fastener is subject to rotation? While the all metal and nylon stop nuts are considered self locking, the popular AN310 castellated nut requires a cotter pin. This is the most secure type of nut locking method and must be used where parts are subject to rotation. It requires a bolt with a hole in its shank to accept a cotter pin. There is also a reduced height shear version of this nut, the AN320, for applications where the bolt is loaded primarily in shear or where the tensile strength of the regular AN310 is not needed. A really special lock nut in my inventory is the MS21042 metal lock nut. Sometimes called a jet nut or K nut or reduced hex nut, this lock nut can solve a bunch of challenges when needed. It is high temperature but is small in size compared to other lock nuts. This feature allows it to be used in areas that other nuts might not be able to fit or wrench access is limited. And although it is significantly smaller, it retains all of the tensile strength of its full-size lock nut cousins. There are variations of coatings on the nut available that can give it a dark appearance. I recommend you get a few of these in the popular sizes as one day you will have a solution for that impossible to fit nut installation. There are more varieties of lock nuts available, but they are not as common as these five that we have shown here. Many of your favorite top-notch aircraft hardware suppliers will have charts that show all of the locking nut options and specifications and sizes that are available. If you can remember these five that we have covered here, you are well on your way to keeping your aircraft together for many flight hours. Here are some examples of popular size lock nuts and their complete part numbers. Remember, the number after the dash is the diameter size in sixteenths of an inch. Enough about nuts, everyone, please. Back to building.